we've got a special project to show you today. Let's get stuck into it. So this here then is a 3D printed parabolic reflector microphone that's hot shoe mounted for my camera. I designed it in Shaper 3D. I've printed it, 3D printed it on my printer. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but let's see how it performs. From where I'm at. Okay, so I've just scribbled this uh, scribbled this down. So basically what you've got is you've got a little capacitive microphone here which feeds the gate of a FET, a field effect transistor. The output and input of that FET there is connected to two centre pins of uh, an eighth inch jack and in my case an eighth inch jack and the ground is connected to the main barrel of the eighth inch jack. So that then, this is the camera side of things, do 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 do, right here. And that then effectively is uh, the barrel side of it is earth. Well the two centre pins are connected to five volts via a couple of resistors just to limit the amount of current. And then there's a couple of little DC blocking capacitors out there. And out of these two ports here, this is effectively where you get your uh, audio signal. So these are really good, very useful, sensitive little microphones. Right, back to the task at hand. Let's get this bad boy wired up. I have got myself a length of headphone cable here and uh, I've 3D printed the parabolic reflector dish and I've got myself a little bag of these tiny little electric condenser microphones from China. They cost absolutely nothing. So, uh, and because I knew what size they were going to be, they fit almost perfectly. Look at that. Almost like I designed it to fit, wasn't it? Bonk. Cool. is the point of this? Well, ultimately, it's a bit like your ears. Um, it's effectively a directional dish uh, that receives sound waves like that, and the sound waves reflect off the back wall and are projected back towards the microphone itself. Um, so this is all wired up, ready to go. I've tested that the microphone works. So uh, I've even got on here, I managed to design and 3D print a little hot shoe mount so that I can fit this, slide this into the top of my camera. So why don't we do a little experiment. Let's, uh, let's put that on top of the camera and see how things sound. Experiment. Listening ear. Ready? Yeah, go, go, go over there and whisper something. Mm. Go, go. A 3D printed parabolic electric condenser high gain microphone. These things exist already. Uh, a friend of mine at work, 007, we call him, Mr. Bond, made me aware <laughs> of these special listening ears uh, or these sound mirrors that exist in Romney Marsh 
in a Kent area. First of all, let's have a quick look at Google. So Google has got lots of pictures here of uh, Romney Marsh. Um, it's called the uh, Romney Marsh Listening Ears or Sound Mirrors. Uh, and it's really quite interesting. Basically, these were invented many years ago in order to listen out for enemy aircraft during the war. And in fact, um, there's a whole website uh, on this. And they open these sound mirrors up um, every so often so you can go in and have a look around. Really quite an interesting thing, uh, but ultimately they used these sound dishes to amplify the uh, sound of the uh, of the enemy aircraft. And these things are about 30 foot in diameter. So another thing that you can buy are parabolic spy microphones. And there's all sorts of stuff here. Um, and they're all very similar if you look at these. So they're just sort of uh, listening devices, effectively, uh, with high-gain amplifiers. Um, and then uh, you normally stick a pair of headphones on them. But, um, yeah, really quite, really quite interesting. And I'm actually sort of reasonably impressed with the way this project turned out. Um, the microphone, the, the, the little Chinese microphone was... Uh, perhaps uh, a little bit noisier than I was expecting it to be. But ultimately, it worked reasonably well, and uh, I'm reasonably impressed with it. Ladies and gents, thanks ever so much for watching, as always. Really appreciate a good old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Go ahead and hit that bell button and all that kind of madness. And um, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you haven't seen some of our other videos go check them out they can be quite interesting mildly educational and a little bit fun take care people stay safe and have a wonderful wonderful weekend cheers and beers Bye for now.